what it do ski YouTube, it's your boy Mina Malcolm, check it back in and hope all has been well. And today I am excited because I get to go over one of my favorite types of videos, a how to style video. And if the title hasn't given it away already, I want to give you a closer look and possibly some inspiration on how to style corduroy pants. And I know what you're thinking, corduroy pants, whose grandpa is this? <laughs> Honestly, I'm just saying that corduroy is definitely going to have a resurgence sooner or later. And when it comes to fabrics, they're a lot more comfortable than jeans by far. And I would say a lot more comfortable than cargo pants in general too. So if it's winter where you're at, similar to me, these pants are a no brainer. I have three pairs to show you today in three different colors and three different kind of outfit aesthetics. But before all that, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to stay up to date on what I have going on. If you were following me, then you know I actually recently gave away a pair of Brazil Dunks for free 99. So that's one of the benefits of following me on multiple social media channels. And I might even start a Twitch soon. I've been gaming like crazy given uh, what's going on in terms of lockdown. But aside from that, Super excited, so let's get into this video. I would say off the rip, there are two things that definitely distinguish corduroy from your everyday pants. First thing being the overall aesthetic, and by that I mean the vertical pleating or actual segregation of materials, which gives the pants its iconic look. And secondly, and more importantly, is the comfort. Picking up a pair of corduroy in hands versus picking up a pair of jeans, it's really night and day. Corduroys have that soft to the touch feel, and when it comes to actual functionality, it's winter where I'm at right now, so it's literally brick weather. I think it's like minus 20 right now outside as I'm filming this. Bruh. Well, if you put on a pair of jeans and you're standing outside for a couple of hours, they will get like icy cold, but corduroy, you're good. In terms of my actual height and weight, I am six foot. My waist size is 33, and all of the pants in this video are actually 32 length. Something to keep in mind when you're buying pairs for yourself. I like to opt for a more slimmer fit and compare it to skinny, but if you go wide and you go kind of for the baggier look, it could be a vibe, it could really be a vibe. For outfit one, I would call this the creme de la creme, really based on the overall color palette. I opted to go for that tan color of corduroys, accented by the oatmeal or off-white fleece with a white tee underneath. And to top it all off, this is where you really wanna bring out your heaters in terms of kicks. I think that this would be the perfect outfit for spring, honestly, because it is so versatile with the fleece being that extra layer of warmth. And if things get a little bit too hot or you're transitioning from inside to outside, you can take it off and you have a crisp white tee underneath and you can never go wrong with a white tee towards them franchise boys. So fleece is by this is never that. I'm a size large. And for the pants, Levi's really knocked out the park with these. I love the actual overall fit and aesthetic. And I think that the way the corduroys lay over the top of the Jordan 1 is just picturesque like it doesn't get much better than that accessories are really going to pay dividends in terms of rings or any bracelets you have because it is such a plain fit and you're really focusing on the textures and materials so that's how you want to cap it off to make sure this outfit pops for look number two i'm going to go with my favorite color blue in this really tonal outfit so for this specifically i'm going to go with the navy corduroy pants and these are actually from simon's in the stockholm fit and believe it or not, I think they're on sale right now and I'll make sure to link them below just so I don't forget that you can pick up these and they're super, super affordable and they are fire, man. They come in a bunch of different colorways. So make sure to pick up one or two if you're even remotely interested and you won't regret it. Another white tee. I think the white tee is probably gonna be the staple piece in all three of these outfits. Accented by the Stone Island workwear jacket or overshirt. It's more of a spring jacket to be honest, but it's good as a transitional piece and it obviously has the branding on the left sleeve. And to top it all off in terms of accessories and shoes, I opted to go with the retro Super Future Black American sunglasses, which are my daily drivers in terms of sunglasses. And I, I used to not really be a sunglass guy, in all honesty, until I got LASIK. And for whatever reason, when I got LASIK, my sensitivity to super bright lights is like, they kill me. And in terms of shoes, I actually opted to wear my second pickup of 2021, which is the Stussy Air Force One collaboration on the low silhouette in black which is sick it's in this kind of like burlap material so it really plays into what i was talking about for the last outfit as well in terms of textures you're going to see a lot of people wearing black grays and whatever it is but if you're bringing like a navy blue if you bring in like a burgundy or a, even an oatmeal if you're really feeling adventurous that will separate your outfit from the rest of the crowd and will elevate your style that much more and obviously you're here to do that so give it some thought now for the final outfit I would say that this is the most brick weather approved. This is for the times when you need to venture out into the blizzard to check your communal mailbox or go to the grocery store because you forgot to buy eggs. But if you live in like California or something or Vancouver, 
You may be able to skip over this one, but it is a fire fit nevertheless. So for this outfit, I opted to go with the dark crimson corduroys, complemented by the black Alpha Industries N3B parka, with the white tee underneath as per usual. And to finish it out with footwear, let's go for the Nike Dunk Low in the ceramic colorway. And the reason I chose these shoes specifically is because they have an all suede upper, and the orange hits within that definitely are complemented by the orange hits on the inside of the Alpha Industries jacket, all grounded together by the dark crimson of the cords. And you may notice I'm a little biased towards sneakers throughout all these outfits, but honestly, I don't wear boots that often. But if you were to switch out those Nike Dunk clothes with some slimmer silhouetted uh, combat boots, I think it would still make a good fit and I think it would ground it out just the same way in terms of functionality. And in terms of accessories, you can keep it really simple to what's actually functional. I have the North Face E-Tip gloves. So those are those Texan gloves you always probably see commercial or Instagram ads about. And if you're a hat person, unfortunately I'm not, definitely wear a toque because it is winter time you'll be good to go like no wind is even gonna mess with you so with that in mind i'd love to hear your thoughts on the three outfits i went over today and if your overall opinion on corduroy has changed at all if it was in a bad place do you see it in a new light or you're still not a fan of it and you think it's for octogenarians and if you don't know what that word is you should probably look it up appreciate the love and views as per usual smash that like button if you haven't already subscribed too if you enjoyed the content i will catch you in the next one Deuces.